and the Turf Monsters reached out and grabbed a golden tornado this game. That's a throw in. That's defended well defensively. In the box, Geneva's done a good job denying those aerial passes. Here's room for Gabe Singh coming down the left side. Look he's at got, Kerr down the middle curve. of the field. Look at that speed. There's the pass. There's the goal! Carnell Kerr! It's one nothing. Geneva! His sixth goal of the year. A leading goal scorer a couple of years ago. He's become a fan favorite, and there you see why. Effortlessly slotting that right through the middle and past the Grove City keeper to take the lead in the championship. Here comes in the 21st minute of play. Grove City's got room. They don't shoot it. They go back from distance for 32. Bouncer, save, rebound, save. Back-to-back -back saves for Evan Shale. And he keeps it a 1-0 lead for Geneva at the midfield. There's the right-footed service. And a punch save. Rebound is blocked. Header. That's knocked off the line. Still loose. And cleared away. And put up in the air by Kerr. Nine, eight, seven, and chipped six, forward. Five, and for the first four, time three, since 2016, two, your PAC men's soccer champions, the Geneva Golden Tornadoes. A golden moment and a golden opportunity for the Golden Tornadoes. Antonio Fiordolino falling to the ground. Tears of joy. He's waited forever for this, it seems. In his fifth year, year after year, heartbreak after heartbreak for several of these players. And the Golden Tornadoes finally have stormed their way to the top of the President's Athletic Conference.